Hey there, YouTubers. The videos of my trip to Michigan's Upper Peninsula for fall colors, they just keep rolling out. This one is going to be of Marquette, a town I like quite a bit. Don't worry, there's not hardly any driving in it. And mainly just some pictures of some buildings and some restaurants that I think you might like if you ever get the chance to go to Marquette, Michigan. This is very close to Ojibwa Casino. I stopped in at Ojibwa because they're having a big construction project going on and just wanted to see the status. It used to be my favorite casino camping because they were like real camp spots with electricity and they were free. I have no idea when the building's gonna get done. They're putting a hotel with a pool in, should be nice. And now it's back to Marquette. I actually went a few times, but again, I know I've shown a lot of videos of it, so I'm not gonna do the same old, same old all the time. It might be hard to actually believe, but I understand that that gets old. The first restaurant I want to share with you is called Elizabeth's Chop House. It's right by the clock tower, and it's a very nice restaurant. Did what I prefer to do, went for lunch. Prices are much better, and the prices here at lunch were average to what you're going to pay for lunch at most places, but it was really good food. It's located on Front Street, which is basically downtown, and it gives you these great views of the decommissioned ore dock. Beautiful restaurant. If you go here, I think you'll enjoy it. If you go for lunch, you'll enjoy it and save a little money, too. It's a little upscale, but that's a good thing. Food is worth the money you pay for it. I had an awesome lunch at a very reasonable price. I had prime rib sandwich. It was really good. That's a flyover. I had wanted to stop here for a while, and I'm glad I did. Pause for prices, because these are the dinner prices. And that's what you pay for dinner at a fancy restaurant. That's why I suggest for many people, go at lunchtime. This is the beautiful old First National Bank. Um, I wouldn't bank here now because it's a Wells Fargo and they're just thieves, but it's a beautiful bank. It's a beautiful structure. Here are a few pictures of what I think is a beautiful downtown with wonderful architecture. This is a great Cajun restaurant that I've eaten at before, but I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of it. I'll just butcher it. But really good food. Again, it's on the downtown area. If you're looking for a nice meal at a good price, awesome fried chicken. And this is my favorite bank tower, I think, like anywhere. I still want an apartment there. And this is probably my favorite courthouse anywhere. And we'll check this out some more. I just think it's a beautiful building, and it's got some cool history. Anatomy of a murder trial went on here. And Teddy Roosevelt had a trial here, which is pretty cool. Teddy Roosevelt was just an awesome president, I think. They got a display case set up about the anatomy of a murder, some of the actual real life events and some about the movie. So I was a little bummed out because the beautiful courtroom was closed. You couldn't go in, but then again, whoever was in there was probably far more bummed out than I am. Next is about Teddy Roosevelt's case. Pause it if you want to read it. Still with the beautiful fall colors outside. I recommend get to the UP and check out Marquette. My friend pushed tires as far as possible, but finally got new ones. And for me, it makes no sense to go to Marquette without going to my personal favorite pasty place, Gene K's. I think they're the best. But what was cool is I went while it was still cold and my RV refrigerator was able to hold a bunch of pasties. 
I think I got about 16 of them loaded in there. So I was thrilled in the ability to take my little bitty freezer section of my little bitty refrigerator in my RV and max it out and turn the whole thing into a freezer and cart as many pasties back as possible. <laughs> They're gonna last me all winter. So that made it for me a great and wonderful day. I enjoyed these beautiful sunsets and I hope you have a great and wonderful day yourself.